Hey guys, so I just found this great program. It's called J Downloader. What it does is uh, it downloads Rapid Share, Mega Upload, and a, a, a huge list of um, file hosting sites. Um, it's cross platform, so it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Since we're on Linux, that's what I'm going to show you uh, guys today. Uh, first, you got to download it and then extract it. All links going to be on the side, so if you need any links, just uh, refer to that. Uh, basically what you need is um, download it, extract it, and you will need Java. Uh, they say 1.5 and up, but just search for Java 6. And you'll need to install this package and also the JRE package right there. Install those two, and um, that's all you really need. And then back to the program, you need to go to the jdownloader.jar file for Linux, and then you have to uh, right click on it and open it with Java. That's the only way it'll load. So once it loads, it'll be look like something like this. Look something like this, and what you want to do is um, go to configurations, configurations here, and what that will do is um, you need to do configure in here is you go have to go to download slash network, and in there you want to change the path of the file folder that you're gonna be saving to, like since you're downloading from Rapid Share or Mega Upload you want all the files to be in there and then you need to go to host and select um, which host you're going to be downloading from like the main two is going to be rapid share and mega upload so check those if you download any other additional like depositfiles.com or something check those and they'll tell you to ag agree or some shit like that and then just click ok and then save your your options and let me see what else. Okay, and make sure this is checked in the monitor clip board because um, once you find a link to um, the files that you want to download, right? Let's see, like right here. Let's say you want to download some, right? You highlight it, or and then you copy it. Uh, what the hell? Oh, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> no, that's not what I want to do. What I mean, okay, you highlight it and you copy it. If you copy it, it will automatically pop up this screen right here. So it just, you know, filters out any other text. It only grabs a uh, rapid share or mega upload uh, links and all you gotta do is accept all and then after you accept all it will load uh, into your manager here what the fuck oh there we go it will load into your manager here see? okay so after you load it um, all you gotta do is click start and it should get to work so now what it's, it's doing here is it's counting down since I have a free account um, you have to you know wait for the time limit uh, to count down but recently RapidShare has capped their um, their speed limit because uh, you know a lot of people are breaking their code so they're only capping it to 50 but the good thing about that is you don't have to reset your IP or anything like that like, like we used to but that was a uh, faster speed your max speed so what it's basically doing here is count down to get the ticket and the ticket if you were doing it manually it'll look something like this let's see 
like this and then you know you have to type in whatever the image code is here the capture code and that's what it looks like for mega upload it looks like this thing kre and then you just type kre what the hell uh, R I mean RKE and then you'll have to download it and then you know wait for the timer what the program is doing is automatic right now see so it's downloading but it's capped at you know around 50 KB so that's just a new thing that they have um, so let me see what else is there oh yeah and um like you know how the files are let me see let me zoom in zero one zero two zero three and four and shit like that well what this program does is um it'll automatically uh, extract those for you after it uh it downloads everything so you don't have to actually do anything you know back in the, back in the days uh we would have to um download it with our downloader manager and then we have to manually extract it right well you don't have to do that anymore it'll just do it automatically and um, you're probably wondering if uh, what if it has a password or something right like you know some files that um, the people upload they have a password on it um, or how about those right well automatically extract well yeah it, it will if you um, if you put the password that they gave you in here just you know put all the password that they uh, that all the files that you're downloading just put it in here and it will grab a, um, the password from this list it doesn't matter what order you put in just put in the password per line or whatever it is and you save it and then after it's done downloading you automatically um, be extracted so that's why this program is really tight and if you have a premium account um, this only works for Ravisher right now so if you have a premium account you just put your premium account in here or some shit like that oh, I don't have premium account so I can't show you that shit so so yeah check it out if um, you you know if you're in a university and you can't use BitTorrent because you might get sued by the RIAA and shit like that or you at work or something like that and they don't let you use BitTorrent or whatever or if you don't like using BitTorrent at all or like you know the torrent files that you're looking for doesn't have any cedars or is a dead file then you know check out RapidShare account um, RapidShare links or Mega Upload links or any other hosting sites people upload to those it's an uh, alternative to BitTorrent and P2P and all that shit and I don't think there's any way that the RIA can track you um, while you're using while you're downloading from RapidShare or any hosting site because it's a direct link to their company and that's, that'll be all in this program so try it out See if you like it. It's a good alternative to uh, BitTorrent.